The Tokyo Olympic Games in July and August could be postponed because of the coronavirus. Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has acknowledged the possibility of pushing the event back for the very first time, saying a decision could become inevitable. Abe had previously insisted the Games would go ahead as scheduled. The International Olympic Committee opened the door to a postponement on Sunday when it said a final decision would be made within the next four weeks, but it added that a cancellation was not on the agenda. Canada and Australia say they will not send teams to a July game. Well, our correspondent Mark Meadows from DW Sports is covering this story for us. Uh, good morning, Mark. A postponement, it's looking increasingly likely, isn't it? Yes, I would say it's almost certain now that the Games will be postponed, probably until July or August 2021. Now, there are other options. One of those is cancellation, but they've said they do not want to cancel. The Japanese have invested so much money in these Games, already at the last count, $12.6 billion, and it's probably going to rise. So I think cancellation is completely out of the question. A scaled-down Games happening this year with no spectators, maybe less sports... It's possible, but that's not really what the Olympic Games is all about, and no one really wants that. So I think if we listen to Shinzo Abe, the uh, Japanese Prime Minister, talking in Parliament today, it's pretty clear that postponement is most likely. The IOC decision is in line with what I've said. We want to hold the event in its complete form. If that becomes difficult, we will think of the athletes first and foremost. We may have no option but to consider postponing the Games. So, a big step there, actually, uh, moving forward and saying could be postponed. What's behind this change of tune from the Japanese? Um, basically, pressure from athletes. It's become overwhelming. It's hard to find an athlete out there who basically wants the Games to take place this year. Um, Canada have actually gone further. They've effectively boycotted a Games this year. They put out a statement saying it is not safe for our athletes, their families and the broader Canadian community. The Australians have said something similar. They've said they've had to make the call now for the good of their athletes to say, look, you should start preparing for 2021 because obviously the pandemic has caused havoc with training regimes. People haven't been able to train. We've also had the problem with qualifiers for the actual Tokyo Games if they were going to happen this year. A lot of those have been postponed, so we don't actually know which athletes would take part in Tokyo. So everything basically points to a postponement. How could the Games be salvaged successfully, Mark? Is there an option for that? I think so. I mean, the Japanese were so happy when they won the bid in 2013 and, you know, they were ready with all the venues in double quick time. Those venues are still going to be relatively new. They're still going to be there in uh, July or August 2021. Obviously, all the volunteers are there for, for this year, but they could quite easily uh, be persuaded to put it back a year. All the hotel space is there. So it's easy to see how a full Olympic Games could take place in 2021. The problem obviously comes if this pandemic is as serious as it is now. At the end of this year, they might then panic and think, hang on, even July, August 2021 is too close. Um, there's also a problem that the World Athletics Championships is due to happen in Oregon in August 2021, and also the Swimming World Championships in Japan in July 2021. Now, those two are flagship Olympic events. There's no way they could actually happen if the Olympics was happening at the same time. So there's lots to work through, and that's probably why they need this four weeks to make a final decision. Sporting world, like everything else, in disarray. Mark Meadows from DW Sport, thanks so much. Let's go straight to Tokyo now and speak to journalist Michael Penn. He's the president of the Shingetsu News Agency. Hi there, Michael. Canada says it's not going to send athletes to the Olympics this year. Australia has suggested the same. Shinzo Abe has been insisting the Games would go ahead as planned, but isn't it inevitable now that they'll either be cancelled or, as Abe himself has hinted, postponed? Uh, yes, you put your finger on it exactly. Uh, the the actions which uh, both the Canada Olympic uh, uh, committees and the and the Australian government are taking uh, effectively have collapsed uh, the the current line of the Japanese government as well as the the International Olympic Committee. Uh, you know they have been trying to hold the line, saying that there would be no change, that things would go forward. But uh, while they kept delaying and and you know essentially being inflexible. Uh, other people have now taken this decision out of their hands. And I think that there will be many other countries following uh, Canada and Australia in making the moves that they are. So the decision is no longer 
the uh, International Olympic Committee's or, or Shinzo Abe's uh, decision uh, themselves. I want to talk to you a bit about the, the background behind all this. It's been nine years since the Fukushima disaster. How much is the desire to show off the recovery in Japan from this disaster playing into the reluctance to, to postpone or cancel the Olympics? I would put that factor a little bit lower than some others. Uh, I think that rather than being a showcase for recovery, uh, it's more of a showcase for uh, Shinzo Abe's regime and, and what it's done since it's been in power for uh, over seven years. You know, he was the one who launched the Olympic bid. And, uh, you know, many people remember he dressed up as Mario, the video game character uh, at one of the uh, at one of the uh, events. Uh, so he's very much put his own prestige on it. Aside from prestige, uh, we're talking money uh, for six or seven years. Uh, you know, Japan has spent an enormous amount of money to prepare for the Olympics and not just the government, businesses and organizations. We've, you know, all been looking forward to 2020 and development plans and timelines have all been based on 2020 is the Olympic year. And suddenly that's being uh, thrown, thrown off. And, and clearly it was very difficult for the Japanese government to admit that its long held plans uh, had fallen apart. You say people have been looking forward to the Games for such a long time now. What do people in Japan think about this? Do they want the Olympics to go ahead? Uh, public opinion polling is pretty clear that the Japanese public uh, is more realistic about the issue than the Japanese government has been. Uh, the Japanese public has been telling pollsters that they they now think that the Games will be delayed or, or cancelled. And, uh, you know, I think that... Uh, most of them are kind of just shrugging their shoulders and saying, well, you know, it's just something that's out of our hands. It's in the hands of nature. So, you know, it, it, we just have to go along with it. Uh, the Japanese government hasn't taken that position yet, but uh, the Japanese public has. Good to talk to you. Michael Penn from the Shingetsu News Agency in Tokyo. Thank you.